YouTube. Welcome to another Intro Marin Fashion Production video. Today we are reviewing the awesome Wireless Go. that it came with obviously the box is open already because I sort of kind of tested out yesterday but we are going to um, review this in depth so I've got a few things um, that I want to do I definitely want to do wind test uh, and take it outside see how it is maybe interview this kid right here you probably noticed him already look at him what are you doing so uh, a few things first why did I buy the wireless go so some of you have been following me on social media on my Facebook page personally and my business page I've been doing a lot more church style videos I'm helping one of my pastor buddies out pastor Ruben do um, speaking videos so I don't know if they're called interview videos but um, we're doing more of those and the shotgun mic that I have on the um, camera right now just isn't really cutting it when it comes to wind. We are getting a lot of wind. We like shooting videos outside. And so what we, what I wanted to do was increase the production value of our videos and make sure um, that the quality of the video sounds good. And um, a lot of people say, hey, you can watch a bad video that has great sound, but you are not gonna watch a video that has bad sound but looks great if it sounds terrible it's bothering you you're just not going to watch it so um that's one thing that i really wanted to improve on was the audio also i've shot with uh weddings before and um with Daddy, weddings i do need Daddy, to Daddy, la i saw the lightning again it was outside again okay that's awesome now go all right so i also do uh wedding videos and um my wedding ceremonies and things like that uh, I wanted something to be able to mic up the bride and groom. Right now, this is my first purchase for the groom. And then eventually I'll get a white one to put on the bride uh, so that we can get clear audio from both. One will actually do, um, I've seen videos on it. They said, hey, if you're gonna mic up somebody, mic up the groom, It'll, he'll pick up whatever the bride is saying. So I wanted to make sure I got, eventually I'm going to get two, but I wanna test this one out. There's a lot of products out there, guys, a different, products, different brand names. Obviously, I like Rode, um, Rode for the most part, but I've also seen um, different ones uh, and actually have put on my wish list different different um, setups. But, you know, again, I saw this one. I want it for the, the interview type stuff that goes right to the camera. Some of the other ones, the lavalier mics um, and that the transmitter setup the transmitter receiver setup, it doesn't automatically go um, to your camera, which is awesome about this, is that you can record audio and it goes right to your camera synced up with the video. And that's what I really want. Instead of having to go into Premiere Pro or your editing software and then um, match up the audio afterwards, I don't want to always have to do that. And so this is great because it has both. So let's see what it looks like. All right, you got your standard road box. Um, tells you what comes in the box in the back, uh, which is great. And if you open it up, you see your receiver and transmitter. Pretty tiny. You got your USB-C cables, you get two. Your two whooshy things for the wind. And a nice little pouch to travel with. And your SC cable. Road instructions, who reads that? And uh, this garbage. So, uh, let's pop this on the camera and let's see how it sounds right now. All right, so now we are actually on the wireless go. This is just using the transmitter and receiver directly to the, um, to my camera, which is the Canon M50. Hopefully you guys can um, hear a difference uh, because that would kind of really suck if you couldn't. But, um, you know, I've been using the um, Rode Mic Go which is this really tiny one. It's a really tiny shotgun mic, um, which is really amazing. I really, I mean, it's super compact. I can throw it in my bag. Um, you know, people always ask, hey, what's the furry thing on there all the time? But um, it's really good. It's a directional mic, so you point it at something, 
um, and it's gonna pick up the sound. It cuts down a lot of the noise um, around it, which is called an omnidirectional mic. Uh, that's what this is. So directly on my person, the um, transmitter is omnidirectional. So it picks up sound from everywhere. Um, and that is why I bought the lapel mic to go with it. So that when I'm doing interviews, it doesn't have to be directly on here. Um, it could, I can use it as a regular lap, you know, a lap system or a belt system where you put on your belt and then wire the person up, whoever you're talking to. All right, so the encryption is supposed to be much better. The audio, the frequency that it's on, is supposed to be much better for places that have a lot of wireless interference going on. Um, and so this is supposed to be perfect for like malls. And uh, what I want to do is do more interviews, like walk up interviews and interview people. Okay, so let's try the lapel mic and let's see how that sounds. And go. All right, so now I am on the what, the Lavalier Go, uh, which came with the package. So um, hopefully this sounds even better than the actual um, tr transmitter did by itself. All right, let's talk dollars and cents. This system costs two hundred seventy-eight dollars, uh, bought from Amazon. Uh, well, bought through Adorama that shipped through Amazon. It came with this mic with the omnidirectional mic, which is I think 60 or 70 bucks by itself. And then it came with the receiver and the transmitter. Um, is it gonna be worth it? I think so. Um, especially the more um, things I do for the church and things I do for my pastor friend. Uh, I want crystal clear audio. I don't want any of that wind interference. Um, and I want uh, just improve and be able to offer more than just, hey, this shotgun mic, especially if you're trying to get more professional, showing up and saying, hey, yeah, just talking to my shotgun mic. Um, doesn't seem as legit as putting a lapel microphone on somebody. So again, there's that um, to weigh out. Are there other systems? Yes. Are there cheaper? Yes. Are there more expensive? Absolutely. Uh, but this was kind of in uh, the middle ground that I really was interested in um, uh, or the middle ground that that I felt I could trust. I could trust the road systems. Um, I could trust the road mics and how they sound. I've been using them since I began YouTube and now um, you know, just moving on and progressing. Um, we'll see if I buy the white one or I go with the other systems um, that uh, may be a little cheaper. So I've had other recorders um, in the past. I used a Zoom H1N uh, for a while. It, it works great. I could hook it up directly to say like a DJ booth and that's perfect. That's almost even better than a lapel mic and ha having to trust, uh, you know, that the bride or groom or whoever I'm interviewing isn't touching or moving it around. Um, so that is a perfect system. That's gonna be a, another backup system, especially at weddings when you cannot miss those special speeches. You want uh, redundancies. And so hopefully um, when I get the chance, you know, hopefully you never have to use it, but it's good to have them there. I use it, I use that with a lapel mic, uh, but that lapel mic broke and so I had to get another one and why just spend $70 on something, um, you know, just a lapel mic when I wanted a whole system like this. So uh, fingers crossed that this works out. Um, let's take this out into the field and let's do some interviews with the kiddos. That's gonna be tomorrow because it's night now and they're asleep. So, so I'll see you tomorrow. All right, we're here interviewing Bon Bon. Bon Bon, say hello. Hello. All right, all right, say hello Bon Bon. Hello. And can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Can you say uh-oh? Uh-oh. Can you say I? Uh -oh. You and say one, two, go. Go. So he doesn't count to three. He just says he counts to two and then says go. No matter the option. All right. So thank you. Uh, what's your name? Dad. His name's Bon Bon. All right. Next kiddo. Ow. All right. So uh, what's your name? I'm Bishester. What's your middle name? I'm Bishester Omar Merritt. Okay. And how old are you? Um, four. Four years old, and what's your mommy's name? Um, Francis. What's your daddy's name? Um, Mama. Okay, well, this concludes our interview. Thank you for letting me interview you. I love you. I love you. Bye. Bye. All right, and that concludes the interview uh, portion. Um, and so, hopefully, that audio comes out nice and crispy. Um, hopefully, this system is everything I need it to be um, for all. 
the situations I needed. All right, peace. Back to the editing studio. All right, guys, so um, change of plans. I was gonna go outside and interview the boys um, outside, but that was a complete disaster. Uh, and so you saw that I interviewed them inside. That worked much better, um, but I really didn't get a sense that there was enough wind to really test it. Um, at times when we've been, you know, we've gone to places like Puerto Rico or some of our trips, it was really, really windy. And so I didn't feel like it replicated that enough. And so I wanted to guys to give you a true test of what it looked like. Um, I am, ha I do have the lapel mic on. Um, and so what I did was, uh, we're just gonna do a experiment in indoors. Um, I got a fan down here. We're going to blow the fan directly in my face and see how that sounds, see how much wind is picked up. Um, I know for a fact that it, with the dead cat, um, or with the shotgun mic that I have, if the wind was coming from behind it, um, I know that the wind picks up a lot. And so I do have to be con conscientious of that um, when using the shotgun mic. But with this, it's an omnidirectional mic, so I don't even think I have a choice um, if the, the cover doesn't protect it um, enough. It's just going to sound really bad and there's gonna be a lot of peaking. So let's get the fan, let's test it out. All right, so this is just a regular fan, guys, nothing special. I'm still talking into it. There is uh, wind in my face now. Um, and so you should be able to hear if it's picking up or not. I haven't reviewed it, so hopefully, um, hopefully it's not picking up too bad. That is on level two. So, and I hear it in my voice. Remember when this was the fun thing to do growing up? Uh, that's what we did instead of iPhones. All right, so let's check out level three this level three this is probably a good amount of wind especially if you're at el morro in puerto rico um, and so if there's wind and you're hearing it and it's peaking i can't see the levels let me see yeah i do see the levels jumping quite quite a bit so you're probably going to hear a lot of this and i'm probably going to have to lower it in post-production but this is something a true review that you will be able to tell hey is this good for um you know, in very windy situations. There's plenty of ways in Adobe Premiere, um, and I can do a tutorial on that later, on how to remove wind sounds um, in your videos. So I just finished listening to that part um, of the recording that I did, and it sounds great. I didn't hear any of the wind, any of the peaking like I thought I would. Uh, so it does a really good job protecting from wind, which is what I originally bought it for. Um, so definitely highly recommend it. Um, just cons that I could think of right now, you have to turn both these things on before you can use it. Um, and that is something you have to keep in mind. It's easy to forget. I've spoken into the mic plenty of times and didn't have it turned on. So there is no audio recording. I don't think, I wouldn't think the mic, um, because there is something plugged in. I don't, I wouldn't think it just picks it up or, you know, even the onboard stuff. So you ha have to make sure it's on um, to record it. And that's something when you're vlogging, running and gunning, I don't think I would remember unless you just left it on all day. And then, you know, my, some of my days are longer than eight hours or seven hours that this is supposed to last. So again, that is a con that right off the gate I can think of. Um, pros, I do like the audio. I do like how it sounds. I wanna get better at mixing the audio, so I make it sound better. Maybe some presets I could buy that could make it sound better. But um, other than that, guys, I really highly suggest you buy this system. It's the Wireless Mic Go. Definitely suggest it. So go out, see if you can get it. Um, I think Amazon, they're all sold out. But um, go out, get it, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you have this already? What other systems are you using? And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay safe.